I am not together yet, but I will be. Yo, really excited. I'm gonna give you some updates. I'm now on my way home, and tomorrow I'm taking a bus to um, Mexico, to Monterey. And so I really wanted to um, do some kind of vlog about that. Um, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna do some maybe cinema, cinematic montages of me packing up because um, that would look really cool. It's just nice to get yourself out of your comfort zone. I've never been to Mexico before, and um, I did, I quiet, try again. quiet. Uh, I did say last time that I wasn't going to bring my nice camera, but I decided against it. Um, I heard Monterey is very safe, so I'm going to bring my nice camera, and it's going to be awesome. So looking forward to that, I will catch up with you when I'm back at home. Until then. morning I just woke up I am about to put all my stuff together a couple things I didn't pack yet because I have to use them this morning like my toothbrush and everything I am not together yet but I will be and then everything will be good so finally packed everything oh feels good and I'm awake my sleep ring I have an aura ring that tells me that I slept better than I have in a long time. Now I know that this video is recorded in lower quality than the other ones and I apologize. I decided to do that first of all because my um, camera is all packed up and second of all because it's more of a vlog quality. I want this to be more candid. I think this achieved that. So um, let me know in the comments if you think that this is all right. If you think that maybe the audio and or video quality does take away from it, I will take that into account for next videos and pop on a lav mic or something for all videos. Um, most videos I'll still do that. I just decided not to do that here because um, I thought it would be kind of cool to try out a more uh, casual one. But uh, it's 7.40 a.m. <clears throat> My bus is at noon. I'm going to be extremely careful. Leave, uh, order an Uber a little after 10 and um, get over to the bus terminal. So really looking forward to going to Mexico and I'm gonna do some filming of the journey, of course. Not at the border, I don't like the like that, but I'll film um, part of the journey. Oh, ha. oh my goodness. That is muy heavy. It's kind of amazing that backpacks can weigh this much. It's gonna get real cold here, so. 60 degrees, I set the thermostat to. That way, I won't use too much energy, but things still won't freeze. So sturdy. All right, just got back from going to the H-E-B to get some candy. Candy time. Everybody's getting some supplies, and I'm pulling an old Ted Cruz and getting out of, out of Dodge and going to Mexico. He was caught in Cabo or somewhere uh, when there are a bunch of travel restrictions because he didn't want to be in Texas, which I totally understand. <laughs> Only thing is people got really mad at that because he's, you know, public servant is supposed to be for the people or whatever. Anyway, point is, I've been stealing candy from the leasing office and the least I can do is give a little bit back. So, got them some truffles, some cream eggs. It's not really stealing. I just come in and bother them and then take their candy, but I'm gonna go and replenish some of that today, and, uh, and then head the fuck off to Mexico. Some of that candy's for me, though. I like sugar, it is my weakness. Um, and you know what? I make it work. I still have good physique, so I get to do what I wanna do. All right, ciao. All right, my Uber driver is close. I'm here with my backpack and my other backpack, and I'm gonna fuck out of here. Where it gets cold. Really looking forward to this. Got my uh, travel pillow all ready, my tripod, and uh, let's do this. All right, bus is here. About 30 minutes late, but we are on our way. They're making me wear masks, so. Rather go to Mexico and wear a mask than uh, miss my trip, so we're gonna do it. But I'm on my way. Hell yeah!
regresar nuevamente aquí al autobús hasta que el oficial de aduana... Well, I'm here, here in my Airbnb, and it is nice. It's interesting. Mexico is um, both exactly how I expected it and not how I expected it at all. I've been to Colombia. The streets of Mexico are similar in a lot of ways. Um, I was in Colombia for about two months, um, five years ago, almost like four and a half years ago, and. Um, Mexico and America, especially living in uh, uh, California when I was a kid and now Texas, you see a lot of Mexican culture around. And in Austin, there are parts of Austin where um, it's like a little bit of Mexico, especially around Runberg area, a lot of uh, Hispanic shops, a lot of Mexican um, places like taco places. And the streets around that area kind of look like Mexico a little bit. Um, that said, I didn't really expect everything. Um, I don't really know how to describe it. Everything's a little janky, in a way. Um, like, the power lines between uh, places, there's just some, like, just hanging. It's, like, severed and hanging. It's like, well, we'll just skip that. And then on the, on the um, sidewalks, there's a bunch of just, like, pieces, like, just, like, you know, holes that if you don't look, you could fall down a manhole. My friend had a, um, he's here with me. He, he's staying nearby, um, but he's uh, staying around the same area. We actually just met up for breakfast this morning. Um, <laughs> his friend came to visit him and uh, on the way to meet up, he fell down a manhole because they just left the cover open. And that was, I believe in Guadalajara. So it wasn't here in Monterrey, but um, there is a feeling of like, Safety isn't as much of a concern here as it is in the States. Like, a ton of shit that I see, it's like in the States, like that would not be okay. Like, we just actually walked um, near a construction site where there are like people like doing a bunch of stuff and a bunch of people in construction. Like, hey, hey, don't come. Like I said in Spanish, of course, but like, hey, don't, don't, don't walk here. We're doing construction. Look up there. And there's like people just like moving construction stuff. And there were like no tape or cones or whatever. And in America, they'd have like cones and tape for miles. So you wouldn't accidentally go near there. Um, so it's kind of interesting just to see how. The priorities are a bit different here. They're just like, yeah, let's just do our work and uh, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. And then America, it's like, let's make sure everything's safe. And then other countries, it's even more so. Like uh, I was hearing in, in, um, in Australia, um, construction workers, you have to have uh, high visibility, like reflector vests on, even if you're in the truck, like at all times. It's like, well, okay, that's a bit weird. That's a bit much. So, um, yeah, it's just interesting to see the differences in culture. And I'm going to be here for a week, so I'm going to be able to see more differences in culture. Now, of course, I'm not really going to dive deep into Mexican culture because I'm also just being in one part of one city only for a week. I wouldn't say I'm going to come out being an expert in any way, shape, or form on Mexican culture or what Mexico is like. I just know what a specific part of Monterrey is like, and I'm, and I'm going to be here for a week. So um, it's just a taste, really. But I'm excited to be here for the week. And that's one thing I really like is traveling. It gets you out of your mind. It gets you into more new states of being. Um, and I'll have some time to do some outreach on my trusty old MacBook here. And um, get some, um, get some uh, uh, more clients, hopefully. I like to get a bunch of clients when I get back. Especially because Valentine's Day is coming up. I want to get people out there on the apps getting more dates and having more fun. So um, I helped about, I don't even know, it was over, definitely over a dozen guys in the past year get more and better matches on dating apps. And I'm really happy with how my skills are coming along. And um, I've gotten a lot of feedback that um, my clients are getting results. They're getting more matches. Girls are specifically saying how amazing their photos are and that's why they match with them. So that excites me. I like helping them out. I like also being able to do something I love, uh, which is photography. So 
really excited to help more people out. If you're curious, if you want more matches on dating apps, um, now's the time to hit me up. I'm um, ramping up my game, so go ahead and um, click the link in the description below and uh, book a call with me. I have um, some calls coming up, so, you know, I don't know, you know, right now I have open time, but you should probably book it now because I might, I might get booked up soon. So, especially if you want to get your photo shoot before, before Valentine's Day. So, wishing you the best. Really excited to work with you if you want a photo shoot. And um, traveling is an awesome way to get out of your head. And there's a lot of places around you that are, you can travel for, for cheap. And it's still an awesome experience, especially Mexico if you live nearby or even if you want to fly in, if you're in the States. Um, if you're in Europe, just go to a country near you. It's going to be easy to do that because you just fucking take a plane, take a, a bus, take a train, and you're in another country. And it's super easy to get out of your way of being. So, wishing you the best. Subscribe if you want to. I'm going to be doing more videos where it's just me talking about my life and um, the way I see things and how to live a passionate life and my own journey of living a passionate life. And, um, you know, I was nervous to come here to, to, to Mexico and... I want to share you with my experience. I want to share my experience with you so you can see you can see from my perspective what it's like and then also hopefully be inspired to travel yourself or to do something that gets you out of your comfort zone. Um, but yeah, I'm going to I want to edit this today. This is more of like a off the cuff kind of video, so um, quality is going to be different. This might be like lower quality of cinematography than the last one, but also higher quality of entertainment perhaps. Um, or maybe lower. I don't know. You tell me what you think of this. When is the next place you're traveling to? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time.